He was every mother's dream son-in-law, and has made his name in this country with the hit single he wrote about his wife, Anna's song. They recently parted, and his latest song is called Hold On Tightly, and he's going to sing it right now. Lost in a boat on the ocean Lost in a ship out at sea Lost in the dark of misfortune Where is a light I can see? Where is the highway to heaven? Where is the love we all need? Where is the peace that we long for? Where is a man who is free? Here in the heart there is freedom Here in the heart there is peace Here in the heart is the answer To questions much deeper than these You got to hold on tightly Let go lightly It's only surrender It's all in the game If you can hold on tightly let go lightly There's always forgiveness And no one to blame Some will take fame over fortune Some take love over gold Some will pray only for power Some never want to grow old some see the day that is coming Some only see what has passed Someone will always be first in line Someone will always be last Here in the heart there is freedom Here in the heart there is peace Here in the heart is the answer Two questions much deeper than these You got to hold on tightly Let go lightly It's only surrender It's all in the game If you can hold on tightly Let go lightly There's always forgiveness And no one to blame Hold on tightly, let go lightly It's only surrender, it's all in the game If you can hold on tightly, let go lightly There's always forgiveness and no one to blame There's always forgiveness and no one to blame Thank you. <laughs> John, come and join us John Denver, a man who obviously loves singing. Thanks, Tony. Uh, that was anytime. absolutely brilliant. <laughs> morning, John. For this time of the morning, well, yeah. thanks very, very much. Good. Listen, you were a folk singer way back in the, the old days. You started as a folk singer. Does that help you find a voice at ridiculous hours? Uh, nothing helps this time of the morning. <laughs> Because I just noticed the chin going up, and I know that a lot of folk singers have the chin way up when they're straining because they have no microphones, no amplification and everything. Well, I'm, I'm not sure that was the case for me this morning, but, uh, you know, you struggle. I once had a, a show with an opera singer uh, who was warming up at about this time for a very early morning show, and he informed the uh, people that he usually didn't clear his throat before noon. By which time you'd recorded about three LPs, I mean, for that stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you do any vocal exercises? I do, yes. There's a whole uh, ritual that I have before I do concerts, and, uh, and that includes really trying to take some time and, and vocalize for a good half an hour or so to warm the old chords up. Did you have to learn to sing? I mean, you, you weren't going to be a singer, were you? Well, no. I just always sang, you know, there was never a time in my life when I didn't sing and uh, it sort of, you know, it got to the point where I needed to get it out of my system in a serious way before I could go to school seriously or I should give up going to school and, uh, and that's sort of what happened is I wanted to uh, find out how far I could go with my music. Mm -hmm. Were you always sure that that was what you were going to do as a career? I mean, at what age did you think I'm going to be a singer when I grow up? I... I guess about the time that I really decided, made that decision to leave college, which is, I was about uh, 
18 years old. Oh, and how much did your parents defend, defend that decision, or were they a bit sort of horrified and say, can't you get a full job? They were horrified, <laughs> and, and it was a feeling that, that singing that for a yeah, living was, yeah. was not a proper job. Uh -huh. And at the same time, uh, the greatest experience of love that I ever had in my life, my parents, you know, it was totally against everything that they believed was good and possible for my future, and yet they supported my going. My dad gave me $200 and said, look, you know, when you get tired of messing around, I want to go back to school, come on back, we'll still be here. And I thought that was just an incredible expression of love. But you didn't lose your training, did you? I mean, you were training as an architect. Yes. And you designed your own house. So you... Well, I had to do a great deal with my home, yes. So yeah. that's, that's great. And listen, I'm really sort of devastated by this new image. What's the glasses? Well, I started wearing contact lens a little over a year ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, somehow, with all the changes that have gone on in my life, it just wasn't, it was no longer comfortable and no longer, it didn't feel like me anymore wearing glasses. I'm surprised actually because it ha actually hasn't changed you that much because what I like is the face that you're doing it right now. Your face just smiles all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm always smiling and uh, especially these days I'm a pretty happy guy. Yeah, because you you've got quite a bit into comedy recently, haven't you? Well, it's been uh, enjoyable in regard to doing television and uh, some of the films that I've I had pleasure of doing to, uh, to work with with really great comedians and uh, and so to be supportive of that I don't think I'm a comedian myself but I like the light side. Yeah, I saw you comparing a, a, an amazing American show with George Burns. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, what's he like? I mean, the age gap between you, I mean, what, about 50 years or something? You, you yeah. seem to get on incredibly well. We had a wonderful time together and found that we had a lot, a great deal in common and George is just as sharp as a tack and funny mm. and we would sit backstage while they were changing the lights and everything for the for the film on the set and he would tell stories about vaudeville and stories about Gracie and he's great and he's just he's just like you imagine him you know and, and you can't not be around him and not want to hug him you're very much part of the american establishment now really i mean you, i mean you started off as a sort of a oh, brash young boy with a guitar and now you're very much sort of you, you did a spectacular with uh, frank sinatra and several things with sinatra yes I mean, did, did, did you aim for that it just sort of happened it just sort of happened and i think to a large degree, the, the people I've had the real great pleasure of, of working with has, has come out of the incentive of my, my real good friend and manager, Jerry Weintraub. Mm -hmm. He had the notion of, of doing that, of putting me with Frank Sinatra, and everybody thought, you know, that's, that's mm. impossible. That's not going to work at all. And it did work. And uh, Mr. Sinatra and I have a great deal in common. And we enjoy it. We're both professionals. We love to sing. We love performing. And I think that, more than anything else, is what really drew us together. And the same with uh, having worked with people like Doris Day and Dick Van Dyke and Danny Kaye and... Uh, uh, George Burns. You know, what about uh, being a big musical? What about Wayne directing you, giving you some choreography <laughs> and having Brenda in it as it's well? It's a How deal. Why don't we do that? <laughs> Let's make I, a show. Yes. I saw Cats last night. Yeah. And it was glorious. You know, and I love to go to the theater here in Britain. And, and every time I go to the theater, it's just an incredibly moving thing to me. I find myself, you know, the show, you know, there's always some big dramatic thing in the show. And, and that guy sang that song, Memories Last Night, and my, uh, my eyes were just overflowing, and I wanted to be up there singing, and, and I want to dance. I want to learn how to tap dance. Okay, okay. you can get these two together and teach them. Only if they teach me how to sing. <laughs> you're, you're not, are you doing any concerts while you're here? You're, you're literally I'm, promoting... I'm doing one concert on Monday night at Albert Hall. And 